Public anger is rising in the West Bank, not against Israel, but against the Palestinian Authority, or PA. For days, protesters have taken to the streets, enraged by the death and alleged beating of an outspoken critic in police custody. The PA said Monday it has started an investigation into his death, but the critic's relatives said they'll only accept the result of an international probe. There is really no way to excuse uh, what happened and the responsibility of the Palestinian police force in, in conducting such a, a brutal interrogation that led to uh, someone's death. Frustration against the PA and its president, Mahmoud Abbas, is not new, but it has intensified after the death of the critic, Nizar Banat, and the ensuing crackdown on protesters. We're all watching videos of, of police, both uh, in uniform and plain clothes, who are beating protesters, who are snatching the phones of, uh, of protesters who are trying to document what's happening. In April, Abbas cancelled the first Palestinian elections in 15 years, reportedly because he feared losing again to Hamas. The Islamic militant group seized power in Gaza in 2007, shortly after winning a landslide election. Since then, Abbas' authority has been confined to parts of the West Bank. He has been criticized for becoming increasingly authoritarian. And of course, there is no, no kind of oversight uh, other than civil society, because you don't have a parliament, you don't have a political opposition. <laughs> At the funeral for Banat, the critic, people held the flag of Palestine and the green flag of Hamas. Hamas's popularity has dramatically surged since the recent Gaza war. Hamas, uh, to a lot of Palestinians, at least looks like they're doing something to create a cost for the occupation, whereas Mahmoud Abbas has, uh, and his leadership have uh, been quite passive. But with the Palestinian Authority clinging to power in the West Bank, it's unclear how Hamas can achieve its goal of becoming the only leader of the Palestinian people. I, I think a lot of Palestinians would like uh, to promote a new leadership that is much more accountable, that is more representative than either of these two uh, leaderships that they've had. The US, Israel and the EU all prefer the unelected PA to Hamas, which they consider a terrorist group. They have invested for decades in the PA to keep the region stable. But as the Gaza war, Jerusalem tensions and the uprising in the West Bank shows, that approach seems increasingly unstable. Ben Shamiso, Newsy.